Today we are going to embark on a fascinating journey. One that happens within each of us. Every single day. The mechanism of digestion, our journey begins in the mouth. Here mechanical digestion starts with mastication. Or chewing. Which grinds and tears food into smaller fragments. Saliva produced by our salivary glands. Initiates chemical digestion. Saliva contains the enzyme amylase, which begins the breakdown of complex carbohydrates. The food is now converted into a ball-like structure called bolus. The esophagus is a long tube that has an esophageal sphincter at the end. Once swallowed, the bolus travels down the esophagus through a process called peristalsis. This is a wave-like muscular contraction that propels food towards the stomach. The stomach's muscular walls churn and mix the food, turning the bolus into a semi-liquid mixture called chyme. Stomach has four parts. Cardia, fundus, body and pylorus, the stomach wall secretes gastric juice, which contains hydrochloric acid, HCl, and the enzyme pepsin. HCl provides the highly acidic environment necessary for pepsin to function optimally. Kills most bacteria ingested with food. The chyme then slowly moves into the small intestine. This organ has three parts that is duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The remaining undigested material passes into the large intestine. Comma. The large intestine's primary role is to absorb water and electrolytes, compacting the waste material into feces. The compacted feces are then stored in the rectum before being eliminated from the body through the anus. A process called defecation 